Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, Jesus tells us that he has brought his light into the world. We will be judged on how faithful we have been to the words of Jesus, the words which he spoke with the authority of his heavenly Father. We could think of this with the help of an example. A sheet of paper, when held up against any bright light, will display all the marks on its surface. These marks might not have been visible before when the paper was seen in darkness or in dim light. They only appear because of the light which has enabled us to take notice of them. In a similar way, we ought to make use of the light of Christ to discover our imperfections and sins so that we may be able to get rid of them. It is only in the light of the holiness of God that we are able to see our sinfulness and return to Him. Thus, this light is a helpful light, though it makes us aware of some unpleasant things. Jesus told Nicodemus in John chapter 3, verse 21, He who does what is true comes to the light, that it may be clearly seen that his deeds have been wrought in God. Dear brothers and sisters, the Lord invites us to introspect and to see if we are living in accordance with his words. For this, we must have an encounter with the word of God. We can do this by prayerfully reading the Bible each day, growing in the knowledge of it and living it out in our lives. St. Jerome says that the ignorance of the scriptures is the ignorance of Christ. The word of God is the light by which we ought to continually evaluate our lives. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. The Second Vatican Council teaches us that in the scriptures, the Father who is in heaven meets his children with great love and speaks with them. And the force and power in the word of God is so great that it stands as the support and energy of the church, the strength of faith for her sons, the food of the soul, the pure and everlasting source of spiritual life. Let us allow ourselves to encounter the word of God in the scriptures so that our lives may be transformed by its light. Today's first reading tells us that the word of God continued to spread and to gain followers in the times of the early Christian community. Let us pray that the word of God may touch the lives of all people and bring them to experience the love of God in their lives so that they may be freed from their darkness and live in the light of the Lord.